In this tip, we're going to cover something that's been asked uh, by some users, which is what's the difference between services and keyword items in the settings. So to start, we're going to go to our settings and options, and we'll show you where that section is, and then we'll briefly explain uh, the difference between both of them. So if we go to settings and options and we scroll down, you're going to see two sections here, invoice items. If we click that to expand, you can see that in greater detail. And then we also have services, and we'll break both of these down. So to start with, services are essentially the main services that you offer at your business. So at our shop, for example, we offer a variety of services such as detailing, uh, ceramic coating, windshield replacement, we sell accessories, uh, paint correction, paint protection, film installation, tinting, windshield replacement, so on and so forth. This is where you want to be generic. You don't want to break down things like, for example, we have tinting. You don't necessarily want to break down, you know, two window tint, full sedan tint, full SUV tint, so on and so forth. Uh, you want to just put more tinting. And the reason is because you're going to suggest that or sorry, select that as your service when you're booking an appointment and it's going to be under tinting. Then you can put the specifics for that job uh, on the actual job itself. Now, you can, if you want, be a lot more specific, like in some areas we have been here, for example, engine detailing. Some people classify that as just part of detailing. Uh, for us it's separate because we do get a lot of show cars and they come in just for an engine detail for example before they go uh, for these different you know competitions or events or conferences. Uh, so we'll do just engine detailing. So we did want that one separated so that we can get statistics on it because where these statistics show up is on your main dashboard for example. I'll open this in a new window so we'll just have it temporarily open. And you're going to see this breakdown here of your services and it's going to show so you can see which ones are, you know, your your biggest money earners, which ones you need to maybe step up like, oh, paint correction, I need to step this one up, so on and so forth. And you can compare that versus different years. Now, this just has test data in it. So yours will look obviously a lot different. Uh, but this is where your main services are going to show up here. So it's not designed to be like packages or something like that, things that could change often because then you're going to mess up your statistics here. It's more just the generic service so that you know what someone's coming in for. And same thing, it'll track this for your leads as well. So that's where here, for example, we have them again. So this list matches this list. It's the same list, but this instead of showing what people actually booked up here, this is showing what people were interested in. So we can see like most people, you know, there's 20%, for example, they were interested in windshield replacement. But then if we go up here, you know, how much of our business is actually windshield replacement versus the other ones? So we can see like, okay, it's 18%. So that means maybe we weren't closing some or maybe, you know, some of them got this and then we upsold them in tinting. So that's where, you know, it raised the stats for tinting. So it's a way to get greater insight into your business. And you're going to see that whenever you book an appointment, for example, if we do add new event, then under here where you have services, that's going to pull from that list. So you can add, you know, engine detailing, but then maybe they got multiple things. So we can add in, you know, brake dust removal. We could add another one and we can say, you know, they also got ceramic coating, so on and so forth. So you can do this and this will all play into your statistics of which services people got. Now that's how, okay, we've covered services. However, what we need to do now is cover what the other option is, which is invoice items. So invoice items, this is where you can put in your packages. You can, so we have a package, for example, called factory reset, basically takes your vehicle, gets it back to like factory condition for the interior. And we have that one priced at $180, for example, in this demo account. So this is where you would add new items, put a price and a description. Now the price and description help you pre-populate invoices. So that's what this is all designed for is to make your life easier when you're creating invoices. And that's why it's called invoice items because they're items that show up on your invoice. To show you what that looks like, we'll go here and we'll just create a new invoice. We'll go new invoice. And from here, if we want to pull one of those up, let's say a customer's in for, you know, tinting. So as soon as we start typing, as you can see, I get tint. All these options show up. So now if I choose full sedan or car, I click that and boom, it pre-populates my description, my price, and it pre-populates the selected tax rates for my local region because I have to charge tax on them. If you want to change this, you can always modify these items. Let's say this particular item, you're using a different tint or you're upselling them something. You can change these. It doesn't have to stay for what it pre-populates. So this, you know, tinting of a full car in any shade, with a lifetime warranty so we can change this to whatever we want it just helps you pre-populate things so that you don't have to type as much so i could type wind 
for example, and I get, oh, windshield replacement. Boom, pre-populated. Here's where I can put in the actual price of their particular windshield because it will vary depending on the year, make, and model, um, as well as availability. So this is simply just to help you quickly fill in your items. Uh, so that's where you can put in your packages, your different pricing options, things like that. You can put them under invoice items. They will get uh, saved in here so that you can quickly type them out and just boom, add it to an invoice. Uh, but it is different from your services and your services. Uh, those are the ones that are going to show up in the statistics and your, your job bookings on your calendar, so on and so forth. Um, so to keep everything neat and tidy, that way they're, the two are separate. And things like tinting, for example, that will never change. We, we just have tinting. Um, but things like our packages, those kinds of things will change down the road. Uh, maybe what we call them, maybe we make a new package called, you know, like super tint or something like that. We can add that as an invoice item. And then uh, that way we have it in here to pre-populate our invoice, but we don't have to change or have it change our statistics or have the super long list when you're trying to book an appointment uh, because that should stay something that can be done uh, fairly quickly. So that's the difference between invoice items and uh, services uh, in the back end system.